as we approach the Spence execution date, I will be going in from time to time on the big fish. This makes it all fun. You know, ever since Spence knocked out Yodina Sugas, we never stopped hearing it from the Spence heads about him being the bone collector, I mean the eye collector. He broke ribs, and, and now we're starting to hear it. We're, we're hearing the same rhetoric from Derek James. You know, he's starting to spout that same stuff. And you know what's crazy? He must be watching these dudes' channels, and he gets all of that. And yeah, he's, he's super gassed up off of it, and now Errol Spence is labeled the, the eye collector because of breaking Uga's eye and breaking... Uh, Kel Brooks of the eye with the help of Triple G might I add and you know nobody really came up with anything uh, you know to pretty much counter that it was always Errol Spence the eye collector he's gonna collect Errol's eye I mean, he's gonna collect Bud's eye he's gonna collect Bud's eye he's gonna collect Bud's eye now let me add this also Errol Spence had his eye detached in sparring do anybody know who this who was this sparring partner he had that did this to his eye? Because from what I was hearing, uh, he was getting his ass whooped and sparring. I mean, detaching retinas, man. Somebody had to beat him up really good inside of, inside the sparring. All right. Um, shout out to Tough Go Tough Glove Boxing, man. He brought that he brought that up um, about the sparring thing about his eye on his videos on his latest video. Go go check out Tough Glove. Boxing, go sub to my guy, Tough Glove Boxing, man. You know? But it made me think, who is this sparring partner? I mean, maybe I, maybe they did say who he was, but I've never seen him. I've never heard anything about it. Uh, who was he? Maybe I missed the memo. You know, somebody enlightened me. <laughs> you know? But I come, I come to think, right, that, you know, Errol Spence mouthpiece... It's been, it's been falling out in a few of his fights, his latest fights. You know, after his accident, he, he lost some teeth. So he got some partials in there, a.k.a. dentures, whatever you want to call them. You know, the, the, you know, the, the, the type of, the type of uh, teeth that, you know, uh, <laughs> that one of my friends growing up, he took his grandma on dentures and kicked them around on the ground and shit like that. I was kind of fucked up, but, you know, it, it was crazy, man. It's a long story, but real shit. <laughs> Well, you know, now Spence got a nice set of Mr. Edge now, you know. So, is it possible that Terrence Crawford uh, can become the denture collector? Yeah, shout out to the homie that brought that up, man. You know, um, I didn't even think about that. So, I don't take full credit for this at all. Uh, the homie, he know who he is, man. He, he probably going to end up seeing this video and going to drop a comment. But, yeah. You know, what if... Terrence Crawford becomes the first ever boxer to collect dentures. Yeah. Yeah. Knock his dentures straight out after his mouthpiece comes out. Because you know this, right? Errol Spence is taking extra precaution when it comes to this. He's went and got finally, you know, which is kind of strange because you would figure, right, all these times he's been in these matches after Danny, from Danny on up. It was what, Danny and new guys? You know, he should have been had his joints um, straight before he even stepped in the ring with Danny. So, I guess he felt like Danny wasn't a threat. Felt like Ugas wasn't a real threat. But now, now he's like, okay, now I got to get my shit straight. Because he know who he's stepping in the ring with. So, he ain't trying to have no accidents. He ain't trying to have his, his mouthpiece coming out. And potentially get his dentures knocked loose. And... Crawford collects those dentures the way he collect those teeth from that kid that he knocked out when he was when he was young. He brought his mom's home the teeth as a souvenir. Hey, this could be a, a recap of that man. His mom said that he, he punched the kid teeth out and he brought the teeth home as a souvenir. Could this be a repeat? Could we be seeing Spence get his dentures knocked loose and Bud scrape grab him up off the floor and? put him somewhere in his glove or something and take him home as you know hang him up next to them four belts and that be something that we won't see so you spend fans man y'all need to watch what y'all say because just as well as you want bud to get his eye collected man your boy spence 
he damn near got his dentures collected a few times in a few fights. Difference is, uh, Errol Spence may be facing a harder puncher than Danny Garcia and new guys, arguably. So, we will soon see. July the 29th. And I hope y'all ready. I hope you're ready for the Crawford Brownies. <laughs> This is Rubber Life Boxing, man. Love y'all. Stay tuned for more of the Spin Slaughter. The Spin Slaughter continues from now on to 29th of July. Get with it.